Hello and welcome to Against the Storm. Another day, another patch, it looks like. We have another um, another patch that came down that gives us a couple small tweaks, uh, minor modifications. Added a couple new Glade events. Um, nothing too crazy, like three different ones. Haunted, uh, one's at least haunted theme. Which is interesting, given that it is uh, right around Halloween. Um, and... There's a couple other minor like adjustments and whatnot, but nothing, uh, nothing too too crazy. Let's take a look at what we got around here. Uh, it looks like any direction would be perfectly good to go in, but that right here is closer, so we'd likely hit more question marks along the way. So I think that is the direction we will head in. Uh, this gives us more. Well, this is the same as everything else so not that it gives us more um we'll stick to pioneer difficulty take the uh the default caravan here um oh they changed some icons too which is uh nothing too significant but a nice to have i guess um all right we want a royal permit we want a little bit of food. And then I think some clay would be good to have just to have a little extra. I'm going to up the difficulty to... Ooh, I don't know about that. I'll leave it at Pioneer. Because we were doing Settler originally. Uh, but I... Oh, that, that is another change they made. With Settler difficulty, they took away one of the negative penalties. So it's two positive and one negative. Pioneer gives us the three negative, two positive, so it's more negative than positive. So we will leave it at that for now. Um, trees give resin, plant fiber. Okay, so we'll be good with that. Let's go ahead. This is just giving us food. It's not really giving us much else that's going to benefit us long term in the meta progression, but food is what is needed in abundance, so it certainly doesn't hurt to have it. All right, let's take a look at our forest mysteries. We have lightweight wood, which means there's more they're able to carry more wood during the drizzle, and that kind of couples nicely with Gift of the Woodlands, which is just an effect for Royal Woodlands map types, where trees give more wood in general. And then sun festivities, villagers who have complex food have a chance to double the yield. So that's, that's pretty good. Uh, acid rain... Um, fifty percent fewer goods. Uh, forty percent shorter burn, and then uh, they have to take coats from storage. Interesting. And global result. Oh, that's kind of rough. So we want to stay under three hostility because this one in particular is punishing unless we have coats in ready abundance. Go ahead and turn off coal here. You can start by not burning that. There is a new merchant as well that's a trickster. They sell uh, mystery boxes, which is interesting because you don't know what's in them. So you're kind of taking a gamble as to whether or not it's going to be worth the investment. Um, so just a little bit, a little bit of an interesting mechanic there uh, added in the game. Let's take a look at where we want to build uh or where we want to chop trees first got a couple smaller glades here and here so we'll probably start off in this top corner if we can let's get the woodcutters camps up and run uh we could start like this i think that's fine we get a stone cutters camp we could pop that down here uh, because we put our makeshift post and we put our crude workstation right here and then we want to get our not a harvester camp but a scavenger camp and we want to get that up and running they did add the ability to set priority on what they harvest if there's multiple things within the radius so that is kind of nice. Just adds a little bit of uh, a little bit extra control to what we're doing there. 
let's go ahead and slap some garbage shelters down and let's indicate that we want to chop we could start by you know maybe we'll start by chopping this i think this is a little bit smaller path these are both closer to it we do want to up the priority of getting those built and then let's take a look at our building options now we do want to get cloth um well specifically we want to get coats uh because if we do hit three hostility we want to make sure we have an ample amount of coats planks three star planks i will take that any day of the week small farm thank you very much and we don't necessarily like any of these options because a royal wilderness doesn't typically have a lot of metal uh oil is okay but one star flowers kind of garbage um bricks pottery crystal it, it's okay it just doesn't do anything for my immediate need so let's re-roll and see if we get a little bit lucky we did not i'm not seeing anything that's like really really super worth it although kiln making three star coal out of all the extra tree wood could be valuable um complex food is something we are gonna need so it wouldn't hurt to get this either um I'll take the cookhouse over the kiln, although it was a little bit of a tough call on that one. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's 3x the speed and try to get this rolling as fast as possible. Let's get a couple of our beaver boys in here. Get them started with the chopping. Got to add a couple couple lizardmen over here even though it's not really an ideal setup for them um we'll swap them out in our hopefully our first uh gathering of people let's take a look at what we got here so fuel recipes are faster uh leisure fulfilled have a chance of double yields that's kind of nice uh because i think we're going to have leisure at some point uh, and then this just gives more resources for newcomers. I'll take well rested. I'm not confident. Like it, it gives us a goal or a reason to pick up leisure. So, and we tend to get that anyway. So I, I don't think it, it's going to hurt at all. Uh, at worst case scenario, it does nothing negative. So at least there's that. Uh, now let's take a look at our options here. We can get plus one plank production. We already have good plank production with the lumber mill. Um, but even more is more better because uh, then you can convert those into packs of um, packs of goods. And then those packs of goods can be sold off to the traders. So I think we might want to do that just because it gives a little bit extra. Um, yeah, I will go that route. Um I do like the plus one stone and clay. We are going to discover those glades pretty easily, so I don't think that's going to hurt at all. Um, this one, I think I will go with good sold and amber here uh, because I would like to get at least one wildfire essence that will let us build another hearth, and I think I recall in my last game having a need to do that, so it's probably in our best interest to, to do that. Um hopefully we're going to chop through to this glade pretty soon we did a little bit of flax field a little bit of bush i think we can just keep keep the chopping up over here let's turn that off uh, um these guys can only reach so far so i'm gonna have to move them let's go ahead and rotate them here they get some not really closer but i can once this tree is chopped, I can I can move that. Uh, let's just move it right up here. And now we got all the way into the little glade. Uh, we are creeping up on one impatience. So this second glade discovery will be good to turn in to knock us back down to zero. Yeah, we're at exactly one. So we're fine to turn that in. And that gives us plus one stone and clay which is good because we are just now going to start harvesting our first clay. And I think we're, we're like plus one right off the bat. So totally worth doing uh, because 
you know, every node this entire game is going to benefit from that. All right, let's take a look here. This does give us the coats that we need, so we might want to get that just to just to lock in coats. However, I could take a gamble and I could do this, which gives us flower barrels and packs of provisions, which are good overall things to get, particularly the pa the two star packs of provisions. Um barrels are very useful when it comes to um, doing things with ale so i mean you got two star barrels over here i guess too but we already have two star pigment so this is a net gain of resources i will gamble that we're going to get a better coat option down the road that is something i may very very much regret but for the time being i'm okay with it And let's take the opportunity while we're in the drizzle to kind of just clear out some of these trees so that there's uh, additional building area behind our main um, our main storage here. Uh, that way we could start building buildings and getting things up and running over there. I would like to specifically build a uh, lumber mill over here. So let's go ahead and slap that down. We do need to get somebody in here to do uh, fabric. Yeah, plant fiber is fine for that. And obviously planks and bricks. I do want to limit this to like five for the time being. Why are, why'd you say nothing? Okay. Uh, I would like to get a trading post up and running. So let's go ahead and slap that down there. Um, there's nobody harvesting food at the moment, but we have some food. So we're not like in dire straits at the moment. I would particularly like to get fabric. Um, so that I don't have any issues building this uh, this lumber mill. We do need some bricks as well, but we at least have somebody harvesting clay. Um, okay, so we did pop into that glade. That does have some more food available to us and gives us a little more insight as to what type of food we're going to have. That gave us a little bit of coats, which is good. Um, I would like to swap out the lizard boys with beavers because we have better lumbering then. We can chop down trees much more efficiently. I would like to start clearing out this whole area here. So let's go ahead and move these guys down here. So we can get the ball rolling on that. Let's get some food production going on. And we'll leave that human available to start doing construction here. I definitely would like to get trade up and running. We do have everybody housed for the most part once this is built. It should finish off the housing. Let's take a look at what we got here. Uh, get artifacts for every dangerous forbidden glade. Um certainly isn't a bad thing uh more artifacts is good this is nice but only affects the map this gives us meta progression progress so i am going to pick that option even if we only solve one you know even if we only get two overall it's still a good thing to have i think uh beaver resolve is good although i think this is we're gonna have plenty of lumber and 15 percent isn't that big of a swing so I think I'm going to go. I mean, simple tools are nice for opening chests and stuff, but I think I'm going to go with this because the wildfire essence at, at worst case, I sell it and it's worth a lot. Plus this is 20 Amber and it's pretty easy to get level one with uh, level one standing. So I think that's totally worth doing. Um, I don't know how many packs of trade goods I will produce, so it might not be worth doing that 
I don't even know if I have a recipe for Pax Trade Goods right now. So let's take a look. I do. I have a one-star recipe in the lumber mill. Um, and I could totally, totally do that. Um, well, it's good to know it's an option. I'll wait on picking that one for now because I don't need it immediately. And I already know packs of building materials is going to be planks because we're going to have three-star planks. So, totally not worried about that. Are we working towards... Okay, why are we not building this? We have the bricks, yes. We do. Now they're building it. Okay, cool. All right, so we need we need stuff and things. Let's sell all our resin. We'll get more resin. Let's sell a bunch of wood. How much amber does that roughly give us? Oh, it actually shows the value down here now. That's kind of nice. Okay, that is precise. Go ahead and do a trade. Uh, flower production is probably good. Because we did get a farm and we did get uh, some of the other like important buildings for that. So... I think it's probably best to leave that. Um, yeah, the flower production with the provisioner will be a net gain, I think. Let's go ahead and move this guy over here. Uh, specifically so we can get this provisioner up and running. Um, well, I guess we can put the provisioner back here leave that spot open for something else uh for the time being i am focusing on well i guess he's kind of doing a little bit of everything i would like to turn planks off uh because we have a much better recipe in here now i just don't have a body to put into there to work on it uh well i do the human i guess is not doing anything at the moment so let's go ahead and start working on that Uh, yeah, we're coming up on the storm. I think we're going to, after the next one, we're going to start breaking into these bigger glades and start making some progress there, hopefully. We'll at least have more people that can work on some of these things. I don't really want to do any of this until I have more packs available. Okay, let's go ahead and pause for a minute here. We're going to want to tap into this glade, so let's move. Let's move our people down here. Tap into here and, and clean that out. Um, let's see. This gives me more urban root production for every 75 biscuits. I think value-added tax is probably more useful for me. I don't envision myself making a lot of those, so um, probably not worth it. I would like to get some beavers and another human, so that would allow me to refocus my, you know, happy beavers in the lumber mill chopping away. And then I could temporarily at least put, I would like to cap this maybe at like 75 and then we can start working on packs of building materials. We'll put one human in here uh, and then I'll leave another one out in the open just to start building on the provisioner for the time being. Hopefully that will be okay. I do. We are uh, running on housing. Well, we're having housing issues now that we've expanded. So I do need to kind of uh, make some progress there. 
We're going to probably need to take somebody out of one of the buildings once we tap into this glade anyway to solve whatever the, the danger is. So this is kind of nice. Get a global resolve bonus. I find that more valuable than any of this temporary stuff. Uh, resin will be a good option. Let's go ahead and immediately take um, take a person out of here. Mm. I'll take a person out of here for now. Just to solve this danger glade event. I much prefer to do that. Um, let's see. This requires simple tools. We have six, we need 10 or 14, depending on what one we want to go with. The good thing about this is this is going to give us plus three resolve. I think it's still plus three, um, but that will be very good in general for our population. Let's go ahead and just keep the path heading straight down here. We do have, it looks like, a lot of clay deposits over here. So, yet again, that indicates uh, how val oh, excuse me, uh, how valuable it was to get the um, plus one clay. Uh, I would like to build a storage unit out here. I'm just trying to figure out where exactly I'd like to put it, where it's going to be the most beneficial, because this isn't going to go away because we're claiming it yeah maybe I'll put it over here I think that's fine we'll go ahead and just run the path over that way and then once the last pack of building materials is built that'll be a big delivery we could turn that in uh, the next uh, trader, we could trade, get some amber, turn that in, and then use the amber afterwards, hopefully. And then we also need to get a trade going. We should revisit picking this order, because... Yeah, I'm going to get the value added. Um, strictly because I already grabbed that as a... I thought I did. I grabbed it as a cornerstone, so that should give me two of them. Oh, I haven't actually completed that yet, so that makes sense. Yeah, so it'll be twice as valuable to do that. So it looks like I'm going to have to focus pretty heavily on getting some trade goods. I do like the plus one coat production because we're going to need coats, but I also really like the idea of the plus grain and the ancient artifact, which will increase morale. So, or global resolve, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so this is finishing up here, which will free up two people. Shortly. They're freed up. We can put somebody back into... Where did we take them out of? We took them out of here. And then the other one was free and roaming around anyway. Alright, Stonecutter Camp, you can move down here. For now, I'm just going to put you right here so you can clear this out. I would like to kind of increase the priority of this, make sure we get that done that's going to provide some extra value uh did we complete those packs of building materials no okay we did there go ahead turn that in get the extra planks i'm going to temporarily turn this off just so we make sure to have plenty of planks available to us Alright, I would like to sell some things. 
I don't need packs of building materials for anything else, so I should probably trade those away. Uh, we could trade away resin because we're going to get uh, an unlimited quantity of that for the most part. And I think we could trade this away as well. That should give us exactly 11. Oh, look at that. That's got to be skewed in his favor, apparently. No. Okay. Here we go. Do we need any of this stuff down here? Not really. The bakery's kind of nice. Uh, that gives us the amber we need for the amber trade. So let's go ahead and do that. That gives us two more people, which we were actually kind of struggling to, to get. That gives us enough to turn this in as well. Do I need coal, oil, training gear, or packs of luxury goods? No. I need trade goods, not luxury goods. So let's go ahead and just convert that to amber. Open that up. I would like to get my buildings okay i don't really i want the tavern because that gives me leisure and i need leisure i mean this gives me two star ale which is probably good enough um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get that So that gives me everything I need to get leisure unlocked, which is good. I do need to get... All right. We can build the tavern. And we can build the tinctury. I think that could go right here. That's close enough. We do need to start building some race specific housing. So let's go ahead and start building that out. They don't have to actually build it yet, but I do want to get some buildings down to start moving in that direction so we could start um, expanding our hub because we are going to need some happier people. Uh, we also need to start chopping out this area to make some more space. So it might be a good idea to move this where we can. Let's start chopping it. We, we're going to need to pop into another glade soon anyway. So we might as well just start clearing out this whole section. Okay. We don't have enough time, but we're not going to pop into that anyway. So it's it's fine. I'm not worried about it. I do just kind of want to focus on clearing out some of this space. We're, as soon as this is gone, that'll free up some room to put another building here. Nobody's working in here at the moment. We could use some of these copper bars temporarily to make some barrels. And then this will use grain, but we don't have anything yet. Packs of provisions, I think we start taking eggs for that. So let's let's slap a human in here. I think it's worth getting started on this, because I'm gonna need like plenty of packs of provisions. Should probably limit that to 20, limit this to 50, limit this to 40-ish. I'm not really gonna be doing much of anything with it until I start building out some farms, which I'm nowhere near doing yet. Uh, Glade event was solved. I don't know what Glade event that was. Maybe it was just this. Large abandoned cache. I wasn't aware that was considered a Glade event. Okay, we got a rain mill, which is okay. Trapper's camp is sort of useless in this map there's not a lot of meat on the on the map uh which 
button shows the resources. Is it B? Yeah, B. So there's a bunch of vegetables, a bunch of mushrooms, berries, uh, some plant fiber down there. So there's there's no meat, and we already have something that does eggs. So that makes this kind of useless for this man. And there's no insects right now either. So I don't see the value in that. Let's go ahead and move this down here. We're gonna wait until we get a little am a little more amber, and then we're gonna try to maybe do something about that. Let's go ahead and look at this. Um Yes, I would like to get free barrels because that will work towards our tinctury and our um, our leisure production. I think that's totally worth doing. Uh, do we need pigment? Pigment can be used to then make trade goods. I think that is worth doing. Uh, packs of trade goods, we can... Yes, we can also use the pottery. And I will probably use barrels at some point, too, because we, we are going to be producing so many of them. Uh, let's go ahead and just focus chopping while we're in the drizzle here. Do I have a person I could throw in here? I do. I have a couple people, actually. Go ahead and put them in there for now. We are going to have to start doing some food related stuff. So I think like once this is cleared out, we'll build a, uh, we'll build the cookhouse here and start making some progress there. Let's take a look at our different. Ooh, negative 14 resolve. Three incense for every 10 roots. I'll take that. I think that's worth doing. Let's go ahead and slap some people in here. It's going to make some angry people, but that's fine. We're in drizzle. Then we'll be in clearance. So I think we have plenty of time to sort that all out. Uh, is this plantation any good? We could rebuild it. And there is some like... Oh, see, they redid the uh, the graphics for that. That's kind of nice. Um, I think it's probably worth doing this plantation. I wish it was like one square over. Um, but I think it's probably worth doing and clearing this out. Uh, that will tap into this other glade. Uh, but that's all right. I think we can just go from one glade to the next. Let's go ahead and move our people over here. So they can start trimming all that out. And hopefully we'll be done with this Glade event before we pop in here and get involved with that Glade event. Uh, packs of trade goods. I am focusing on that, it looks like. Yes, I am. We need that for this trade connections. Uh, the other thing I need to do is let's take a look at our trade routes because I need to make people happy with me. Um, okay. Well, I need packs of provisions before I could really make any progress on this, so won't worry about that in the immediate future, but it is something I do need to be considerate of. Let's pop a human in here for now. I will eventually have to make some packs of provisions out of these eggs, which actually I need to sell as well. So uh, let's get the cook house up and running. Slap that. Well, we should probably move move this up here. And then put the cookhouse down over here. I think that is perfectly fine. Uh, everybody is happy again, yes, because this is done. That gave us the incense for roots. And we are producing roots here. And there's some more roots over here, so... We will get some incense periodically as well. Uh, trade Connections is done. Let's go ahead and deliver that. That gives us our two amber for every six packs of trade goods, which is now two x So 
we will be getting kind of free amber from that as we progress. Uh, I would like to re-roll this. There's nothing in here that I really want. Uh, this gives us one star coats. I'm getting a little nervous about the coat thing, so... Uh, but I do need religion, and we do have a way to get incense. So I think temple is the right call there. Okay, smithy will give us coats. So, and two star packs of trade goods. So I think that's worth getting as well. Um, we can slap that down right here. Uh, yeah, we're not really doing anything with Amber at the moment. We'll use up the last of that coal. Which I think is fine. We're about to get into the storm, so I might want to cool it on the, uh, the tree chopping over here. I'm going to try to limit them to only chopping this stuff. But we'll see how that turns out. Let's put that farm field down. I think I want to rebuild this. It just gives us a way to start working that field. I'm sure there'll be another field over here. All right, so hopefully soon we will have some. Yeah, we do. We have plenty of packs of provisions now. Uh, maybe shouldn't have focused too much on that. We still need food. So let's go ahead and take a gander at what our thing is here. Pigment for insects. Which is probably... I just don't know if there's any insects. I mean, we should probably get it just in case there is. It's certainly not going to hurt anything. I just... I'm not confident there's enough insects to justify that on the map. Okay, so we can definitely chop through this now. I'm perfectly okay with it. Uh, and then I'll probably end up putting a storage unit like somewhere in the middle here. Let's go ahead and put some humans in here to get that started. I think that's worth doing. We have Sahilda here. Can we put anybody in here? Is it worth doing it? Now we are, we're already doing this, so I don't need that anywhere else. I don't have any herbs. But I could add any of these to the mix. And I think biscuits are useful. There, they're happy in there. Uh, and then skewers. Yeah, mushrooms can work on skewers as well. I think we limit these to like 20-ish just to get it going. Um, let's look at our tinctury. We're not producing any grain yet. Don't have to worry about that. I took the people out of here because I was worried about them making too many packs of provisions, which they might have already done. But let's look at trade routes. Okay, so I could do... There are no other settlements except for the Smoldering City. But if I do some trading... I could totally do this. Yeah, I don't have any skewers. But I definitely can do that. So let's go ahead and get that moving so we can make progress there. Uh, let's put some beavers in here. Simple tools. I don't think we're going to be making them. It's more another place to make packs of trade goods. I definitely... Oh, it's an improved packs of trade goods, so let's turn that off there. Uh, I totally can use lumber for this. 
I'm going to need this for religion. So maybe we'll do 20 there. I don't know if we have any other scroll recipes. Let's take a look. Nope, that's the only game in town. So let's go ahead and leave that enabled for the time being. We might as well put this on both and limit that to like 50. Uh, I do want to limit coats to like maybe 40. But I would definitely like to... Yeah, that could be important production. We definitely need the coats. There is no doubt about that. Um, flour and barrels is going to be more important to me, I think. I don't have any other material for for fabric, so that will be what it will be. Cavern is going to be built next. Let's see what other resources we can get here. I could get a massive amount of coat production. That's probably worth doing. This might be worth getting. I'm not super confident. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to need the ancient tablets yet or not, so I'm not going to try to sell them. I will sell two of these because I don't need a bunch of wildfire essence. I already know that. Uh, I'll sell some of this. Don't need stone because I have clay. Don't need anywhere close to this much lumber. And I'm going to be getting a lot more. Okay, so that puts me at... Pretty close to 40. Let's go ahead and move down the list here a little bit. We could do a trade there. Now the question is, do I take plantation or do I take fabric production? I might want berries and plant fiber, so I'll take it. And then this gives me more resolve. Fabric production, I think, is probably more valuable. So we'll go with that. I think we're going to not have too much to worry about with resolve in the long run. Okay, so we did pop into this glade. There is more fertile soil over here, which is not surprising to me at all. Uh, it's exactly what I was anticipating when I saw this. So let's go ahead and just move closer. Keep chopping this area out. And then I would like to solve this glade event. Uh, looks like I'm going to have to use the scrolls, which is a little unfortunate. But, but I will get pottery every time I discover a glade. So probably a good thing overall. Uh... <clears throat> I lose resolve for Amber while well, jokes on them. I'm broke, so it doesn't matter. Uh, I, I do need to get some farms up and running because we are low on food. I need the resources for other things too. Uh, ale production would be very handy. So I think I am going to try to pop this. Although I don't have enough tools, I don't think. But once we get enough tools, that will help me with that. Uh, I do need to build more specific housing. So let's go ahead and keep progressing on that. All right. And we do need to be, as we learned last time, fully within the, the boundaries there. Uh, lizard boys need some housing. That's fine to put down there. We do need to start putting down some of these like little tchotchke things that I think will, um, well, they're necessary to grow the, uh, grow the settlement. So let's just put four over there. Slap down a couple road signs. And flower beds. I 
think that's good for now. I think that'll get us up one, maybe two hub levels. We do need to build a storage over here for sure. So let's go ahead and slap that down. There's definitely some opportunity here. Would like to see some farm fields get built. Get some of this chopped out. Uh, trade route is completed. Let's go ahead and collect. So one downside is that only move the progress bar a little bit. So it's probably not like I'll wait and see what the next cycle provides with what is desired. I don't think that moved the needle too much in particular. Okay, we do have more housing being built, which is good. They are working on some of this other stuff as well. There's nothing happening in the cookhouse, but that's not too surprising. We just don't have the resources right now. People are out of food, which is definitely not a good thing. I really would like to get this built because we need to get people like that uh, over here growing food and stuff. There's also like we're getting some eggs there, but... We're going to need more than that. Let's get the farm field going. Lizard resolve is low. That's not surprising. They're probably starving to death. Can we carry it through is the question. Here comes the fabric that we need. Okay, that's going to get this built, which is going to let the small farm. All right, perfect. Now they don't have to run all the way back there to drop the wood off. They're dropping it off right here, which is good. We do have the tavern up and running. We should put somebody in there. Let's go ahead and do some recruitment here. That gives us the mushrooms. We need some of that. Uh... This lowers hostility, which is something that could be extremely beneficial given our um, yeah, I think I think we'll go with that. Uh, let's take a look at our orders. We never did finish picking them all. Uh, we will do leisure, so this is probably worth doing. Let's go ahead and look at this feel like we're less likely to build this because I'm pretty bad with food. So I think we're more likely to get this. Uh, paved road. That's out of stone. I just sold my stone. That's not very good. I think I could buy more stone though. And I don't know if I can do that with clay. Three dangerous glades. Uh, sell three ancient tablets and twenty packs of crops. I definitely think we can. We can accomplish that. So we're definitely falling behind here. We need to get um show on the road with the farms. But it's all very doable stuff. I'm hoping... Um, okay. Old Farloof. Let's go ahead and trade some stuff. So we had to sell some ancient tablets. Uh, that's more than enough. Uh, 
let's go ahead and do this. Get to 50. Make that trade. Uh, I will take crystallized dew for berries because we're going to need some of that. Barrel production's fine. Now I can buy stone off of him, which should let me turn in that paved road thing. So let's go ahead and do that. So the paved road thing's going to be super easy. Let's go ahead and just slap down enough paved roads everywhere to accomplish that. I think that should take care of it right there. I would like to pop into another glade. Preferably we find one that has... Um... has some fields so we can continue with the farming but let's see where let's see where we get all right scavenger camp's got nothing nearby but we do have some eggs over here and i i know i need the roots but the eggs handle some of our immediate food need which i think is a little higher priority um let me turn that off Probably should buy at least some tools. So we could at least complete this and get those out of there. All right, so we need packs of crops now. Let's take a look at what our trading options are. We could definitely do this. So let's go ahead and do that. That'll finish this making connections off. And then we have buildings for religion and leisure. So we could pop that down. Does this fit? I think it fits. I hope it fits. Paved roads are getting completed. Okay, paved roads are done. Turn that in, that gives us a bunch of tools to work with. Barrel production and resin production. Sounds reasonable, let's go ahead and do that. that use 10 tools we definitely want to put some humans in here get the grain going uh, we popped into this glade and i barely even noticed it i want to say three ancient tablets are probably worth more than 15 amber although progress has some value as well uh we don't have enough incense it's, i guess it's a good thing i have tools and I didn't use them all because we're definitely going to need to complete that. At least we have some eggs going on there. we got some berries going on over here. Which I want to say we had something that gave us benefits for using up berries. I do need more people to like put into these areas. Trade route is completed. Let's go ahead and collect that. That gives us our, our one there. That gives us some extra amber. Keeps uh, moving the progress along. Where are we doing the packs of trade goods? We turned it off here. Let's take a look at packs of trade goods. We want to turn it on here. And I think we could do pottery and barrels because we have like a relatively unlimited amount of that. So let's go ahead and just start cranking those out. And 
And the pigment is now going to be useful for scrolls instead. So I'm going to turn that off because I'd rather use it for scrolls. Let's take a look at what we got here. I don't really need coats anymore because I have a plus coat production. So I'm going to re-roll. Crystallized dew could be useful. I'm going to take it even if I'm not going to actually use it. Okay, are we finishing up here? It looks like we are. Um, I really would like to get into a glade that has something useful. Uh, particularly farm fields, so I need to start working on that. Go ahead and tap into all this stuff here. We need to get religion up and going. We're low on bricks. We're low on fabric. Are we making bricks? Yeah, we're making everything but planks. Uh, I'm going to slap another person in here just because we need to get more progress. We also need to up it from 5 to like 20 on these. So there's no reason to, to limit it that much. Three mushrooms for every 10 grain or gain 20 amber. for These are both great. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to take the amber. I'm going to be greedy. We're definitely going to start cranking out um, ale, which is definitely something I want to focus on. Let's take a look here. We got some more people. I don't really know how many more people we can afford to support. Uh, we got to build... Eight greens and four more of the other stuff. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then four more. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. Okay. So, we also need to kind of chop out these trees here because I need more space to build. Uh, we could, we can put something over here as far as housing goes. Let's go ahead and slap down another beaver house here. And I think we could even go as far as to put another thing over there, but I'll, I'll wait on that a moment. Hop into this glade, got a flax field. That's good. Food is a desperate situation. We are getting packs of trade goods, which is definitely needed. Here is the new guy with the random, uh, I think this is him. All right. What do I need? 50 to goods produced in the brewery. Do I have a brewery? I have a tinctury. Uh, lowers hostility. 15 roots. Discover new glade. That's worth doing. I'd like to lower. Uh, make them less mad at me. I like tools. We don't need ancient tablets. So I can go ahead and trade that away. I just don't need it for anything. Uh, we also need food. Not that this is going to last very long, but we can at least get the ball rolling on it. Let's go ahead and do that. Gives us some food to work with. I need to make some packs of crops, but I don't have any crops to make it with. So that's kind of a bummer. We're about to tap into another glade here. Hopefully it's got some some fields. I don't think there's anything underneath there. No, there's not. 
That's as good as that gets. Okay, we do have some happy people, which is good. We tapped into a, a glade. Thankfully, it is Global Resolve. And it's resin, so there's we're perfectly fine there. Do we need a haunted market? This is one of those new buildings. Cleanliness and luxury. I don't think so. I don't think we need any of that. Um, I do definitely want to take advantage of this. And I do want to build a small farm over here where we can start on the farm field. And probably get a storage up and running over here as well. Which would just be a good general thing to have going. Let's build a path here and path there. Let's prioritize getting this built. I think that makes sense to do. We should start seeing grain coming in here. So hopefully our grain production turns into alcohol production which then turns into leisure I would like to put some people into here and I would like to put some people into here we can get that going packs of trade goods let's go ahead and do that that'll give us some more materials to work with hoping we'd have some like actual food production at some point doesn't seem to be working in our favor we are getting religion now and hopefully we'll be getting leisure as soon as the ale production kicks off which seems to be happening now thankfully let's take a look at our put Put some of our humans in here. Get more wheat production going. Uh, Briga is even better ale production. So it's probably worth getting that. Let's go ahead and slap that down. I don't know why I did that. But that's alright. I don't think I even need this building anymore because now I have the brewery. Let's go ahead and take these boys out of here. Do I need Pikmin anymore? I don't think so. Although we are still churning out scrolls for religion, which is good. We need the religion as well. Well, for education, apparently, not religion. Um... Yeah, so this is happening at a rapid pace. We are seeing leisure come in. We are seeing religion come in. I would like to see packs of provisions. I don't know where those stopped coming from. That, that's from here. Oh, it's because we ran out of eggs. Let's work on berries as well. Uh, packs of crops, we need that. We gotta sell 20 packs of crops. And I'm gonna build that down here. I think it makes sense to get that a little closer. I think once we get these two things, we could turn them in and that should complete it. Plus our guys are just making progress from being happy. Uh, so I really don't think we need to do too much else other than just let the clock run for now. But, you know, let's uh, keep our ear to the ground and see what happens. Uh, fabric, I would like to do here instead of here now. So we'll go ahead and uncheck that. Um...
three mushrooms for every grain. I will I will do that. That sounds good. All right, we are creeping up on I don't want more people. I feel like we're already kind of overwhelmed. And we're already low on food across the board, so it's not really great to get more people, I don't think. Uh, is there anything I want to buy? Can't really buy food. Not really selling anything. I guess we'll just take those two things, make a little more progress, get even closer to the end. And then the next turn in should carry us through unless we just high resolve carries us all the way. I'm not sure. We'll we'll see how it goes. Good thing is I won't have to worry about the packs of provisions because we're going to win anyway. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn in the order. And that is it. We did get four artifacts from solving those Glade events, so that was totally worth doing. Uh, artifacts are pretty... Not difficult, but they're rare compared to the other options, so... Totally, totally worth it. Um, all right. Well, thank you for watching. If you like the video, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel to see more content in the future. And we will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.